What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I am a Canadian eBay reseller. I also sell on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji here in Canada. And it's a lot of fun to find things to flip for profit. Now, I did mention in previous videos, every two weeks there's going to be another reselling video. Whether it's me sharing what I sold recently on Facebook Marketplace or eBay and sharing a breakdown of what it costs, what it costs to ship, eBay fees, and my overall profit for each item, which you guys seem to love or different hauls of things that I purchased to sell for profits. Today is gonna to be one of those haul videos, which is absolutely a lot of fun. Now, one thing you guys might not know if you guys are here for my reselling stuff, I also collect comic books. About five years ago, I bought 500 comic books. I kept half for myself, that's what started my collection. The other half of the lot, I ended up selling and making $300 profits, and I kept the other half for my personal collection. As you can see behind me, I did buy a lot more comics to be able to flip for profits, and I ended up paying a lot more than I've ever purchased a single lot for, and I spent the most money on this lot than anything else that I purchased. Normally, I end up buying video game lots and things like that, I just decided to get back into comic books. It's been about five years since I was selling comic books. I decided since it's something that I know I love and I do collect, I'm able to engage with my potential customers and talk to them a little bit more about it. I think this was a great find for me. So inside here, there is 2,234 comics and also 20 paperback Marvel and DC graphic novels. Those ones there should be able to sell for about $10 each. That is about $200 there for just the graphic novels. Some of them are even from Kevin Smith, which is going to be ones that hopefully I'll be able to keep in my personal collection. But for the most part, everything you see here is going to be solely to sell for profit. Some of the comics I might be able to pull out for myself and keep a few along the way, but some or most are going to be sold for profits. This whole lot here, it did cost me a lot more because there's over 2,000 comics. For the whole lot, it was about $1,000, which is a lot of money, I must say, but I'm at least going to be able to double my money with the entire lot, which is amazing. Now, for example, this box here, in my opinion, is one of the best long boxes that I have. There's seven long boxes and one short box. The short box has a lot more of the higher end comics in it. I'll be able to sell for a lot more money and probably that box alone, I'll be able to make back what I paid on the entire lot. I'll talk about that in a second. This box here has the 20 graphic novels in it. Like I said, that's about $200 I'm expecting to sell those for. It also has the rest of the box. All X-Men and Spider-Man comics seem to be in great condition. A bunch of different stuff. Web of Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, X-Men, X-Force, X-Factor, which is stuff that sells more higher price and sells quickly in my area, which I'm really excited to get into those. Most people in my area sell those comics for about $5 each. I'm likely going to ask around $3 each. I think each lot, a lot of X-Men, a lot of Spider-Man, a lot of X-Factor, a lot of X-Force, I'm thinking $150 each. That equals out to be 50 comics for $3 each, $150. I think that's realistically what I'm gonna be able to get. A lot of people have 20 comics for $100 right now. I'm gonna ask 50 comics for 150. That's about $3 a piece. That's what, honestly what I think I'll be able to sell them for. Now on top of that, there is other comics that aren't gonna be as good as that, but some that are gonna be just as good as the comics I just mentioned. There's other stuff like Avengers, Iron Man, Thor, different stuff that I personally collect, some Transformers comics, some Simpsons comics, which those ones I'm going to read, just check them over and see if there's something that are of interest to me and then possibly sell them, likely going to sell those. They sell, I think, $10 for the sets. In here, there's other sets as well that are very interesting. There's some comics that are from 93, some X-Men and Spider-Man. I think I have two X-Men comics and one Spider-Man. Brand new, sealed in the bag with the collector card from 93. Those ones there, I don't know what they're worth, but I'm likely going to sell them, not keep them. There's a box of 300 Marvel and DC comics. It's more lower and lesser known superheroes. Some um, Speedball, I think issue one through 10 is included in that box. And I think I have Wonder Man issue one through 10 also in that box. That box there is gonna be basically a dollar each. So that whole box, 300 comics, $300, that's what I'm expecting. There's a box of indie comics, so there's some Dark Horse, 
some other ones, impacts, and other ones that honestly I've never even heard of the company. No idea what they are, what they're worth. I think those ones there, that whole box, there's 300 comics in it as well. I think realistically I'm going to ask maybe 50 cents a comic, so that's 150 for that box. Now paying $1,000 for everything here, that's about 44, 45 cents per comic. Selling that one box for 50 cents a comic, that's basically what I paid for all of those comics. There's stuff that honestly are not going to sell much higher than that. I might as well just get rid of them quick. There is other... Uh, image comics that I actually have already sold a few. There was Spawn Dark Ages issue 1 to 28. I sold that for $50 and the guy is interested in more image stuff so I sent him a list and he did pick out some other image comics as well which is exciting that I have a returning customer already. I only listed them on Kijiji so far but they're going to be listed different sets, different lots on Facebook Marketplace as well. Some of the individual ones that I might sell on eBay are going to be more of the higher end ones. There's one set that honestly I've been looking for for a couple years now for my personal collection. That is Venom Lethal Protector Series, issue 1 through 6. In great condition is what I was looking for for myself. This was included in the lots. It is in perfect condition. It's around $100 on eBay. That's something that's honestly I've been looking for for a while. I can't afford the $100. It was included in the lots. I'll likely be able to keep that in my personal collection, sell the rest, and pick out maybe a few other ones here or there, and still at least be able to double my money on the entire lot. One of the more expensive comics is The Incredible Hulk, issue 449. It's from 1997. It is the first appearance of the Thunderbolts, and it's on average on eBay for $150 for that one comic, which is amazing. Also included in the slots, there is some older Disney comics, which I looked some of them up individually. They don't sell for much. I might list those on Facebook Marketplace, bundle all of the Disney ones together and see what I can get for those. There's also Looney Tunes that are a little bit older. I want to say the Looney Tunes are around the 60s. There's some Ghostbusters, Chuck Norris, uh, Casper the Ghost. Uh, different things like that. I think there's Power Rangers, which is more 90s, but I think I have issue 1 through 3, and it was exclusive to Canada, this set, so that's very interesting. And that stuff there, I don't know, I'm just going to try to bundle it together and see if there's any interest on Facebook Marketplace for it. Disney is really popular. Looney Tunes, some of the characters have been discontinued or cancelled, so some of that might be hit or miss, but I'm at least going to try and see what I can get for those. In this lot's a rough percentage of what there is. There's about 40% that is Marvel, 30% that is DC, 10% that is Image, that's stuff that I've been selling that honestly isn't stuff that's of interest to me for my personal collection, I'm more into Marvel, but some of that's already been selling fairly quick, and that is awesome to see, and the final 20% is more indie stuff, stuff that I just have no interest in, and that I'm going to likely sell for about 50 cents each, which isn't bad because that's exactly what I paid for them. The rest is going to be where I make my money. Now in this launch, there is some more expensive comics, which I'm honestly going to be waiting to the very end to start listing and selling those comics, whether I sell them individually on eBay or I do try to list them locally and see if I can sell them. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do, but right now I'm thinking that the bulk of the lot is what I'm going to be focusing on getting rid of first and then focus my attention on the more expensive comics. The bulk of it alone, I'm at least going to be doubling my money, and I think the more expensive stuff is going to be where I see exactly how much extra profit I'll be able to get for this lot. Now this lot here, I did go through about half of it so far. I think, honestly, all I have left might actually be just two long boxes and see what is inside and basically categorize them, write out what is inside. There might be some more hidden gems, there might be some more that are just 50 cent comics, but at the end of the day I'm still going to be making some decent profit on the lot, so regardless of what's in the last two final boxes, that's fine, I'm okay with. Now honestly I think some of the Spider-Man I am going to be keeping for myself, some of the Spider-Man and X-Men I've already pulled out some doubles and some that I wanted that were very interesting to me to keep in my personal collection. Some of the Spider-Man I actually might be holding on to for a little bit, See if the value goes up and then sell it. Right now, individually, they just don't sell for a lot. And that's more of the holographic card uh, comics. So the front cover is a holographic image, which is amazing. So I think there's issue 90 of Spider-Man, issue 100, and issue 365 that are all hologram that I found so far. 
And there's one X-Men, I actually have two copies of that. So one obviously I'm gonna sell, one I'm gonna keep for myself. But some of that I'm gonna keep for now until the value goes up. Some of the complete sets that are inside here, I might keep or see what the value is and sell those. And who knows, some of my personal collection, I might replace it with some that are in this lot that I like more and keep those and sell some of my personal collection. I might end up doing that as well. I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do, but buying them this cheap, if I keep a few for myself and with me keeping the Venom Lethal Protector series, I plan on keeping that one. I still am expecting to sell the whole lot for $2,000. That's me doubling my money. That is at least what I'm going to make on this whole lot, if not more. There's one book that's 150. There's other lots here that are worth a lot more. There's some books that are 20 to $40 each. There's the uh, paperback graphic novels that I'm gonna be trying to sell for $10 each. That's $200. A lot of other great comics as well in here. I'm at least going to be able to sell the lot for 2,000. That's me doubling my money. But realistically, I think it's gonna be around three to $4,000 that I'm gonna sell the whole lot for. That is two to $3,000 profits, and I get to keep some also on top of that. Now in this video, I did not share any comics physically, so expect to see those in the future. Now, as far as my reselling videos go, again, every two weeks there'll be a new video, whether it's eBay, Facebook Marketplace, sales, breakdowns, or lots like this. But for the rest of the comic books, if I sell any comic books, I will update you guys in future reselling videos. Again, every two weeks on Tuesdays is usually when I do those. But for the most part, the comic books are gonna be on other videos on the channel outside of my reselling videos. So the only other reselling video I might do with comics, uh, showing the comics, is likely my more expensive comics for this lot. I'm likely gonna show all of those ones on camera for you guys. And the rest of them, going through all the lots, that's gonna be other comic videos outside of my reselling videos on my channel. So if you guys are interested to see exactly what's in here, it's gonna be outside of my flipping for profits and my eBay videos, basically, basically my reselling videos. It's gonna be outside of that. But if I sell any, I will update you guys in some of my reselling videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to get started with these comics and start selling them. I already sold a few and I know there's definitely money to be made and I'm really excited to bring this to the channel and share all of this with you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care, peace.